Hi there, friends. Another fantastic show today. A king salmon with a mustard sauce. I'm going to show you how to do it. Stay tuned. And don't forget, ring the bell. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you like the video. And please subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned. I'm going to show you exactly how to make this amazing salmon. Well, let me show you how easy it is to make this salmon. That's going to be a quick recipe, folks. You're going to love it. I got this beautiful king salmon. I love salmon. And, and as I'm hearing the comment, you guys love salmon too. And my fishmonger told me today, I said, what's the number one fish? He said, hands down salmon. I got beautiful king salmon here, right here, folks. So I'm going to show you how to cook it. You know, a lot of people like the skin. If you're going to have the skin, there's a few things we got to do with it. So I'm going to show you. First thing we want to do is we want to take as much of the moisture as possible from the skin. So you scrape it. You scrape it. You see, look, 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 look. You can see what's happening right there, folks? If you're going to have a skin, you're going to have a crispy skin. And the best way to do this is to eliminate as much of the moisture as possible. You see, look. When you think you don't have any more, look. See? All that moisture right there. So you take it. Look at this. It's amazing, isn't it? So we want to remove it as much as possible of the moisture. You see? As much, as much as possible. Don't be afraid to scrape it. You're not going to hurt your fish, I promise you. You see? You're not going to hurt your fish at all. So scrape it, scrape it, scrape it, scrape it. That is if you want to eat the skin and you want it to be crispy, yeah? Look at this. That's amazing. All right, well, you got the idea, okay? Spend some more time. I don't want to make the video. Look at this. That's amazing, isn't it? And then what I like to do is I like to, again, wipe, wipe the fish. It's amazing. Wipe the fish. Look at this. <laughs> All right. So now what else do we do? We'll wipe the fish too. Right, I'm just going to do one piece for now. All right. You can take the time to do more. I got a clock going. <laughs> and then I'm going to put some fleur de sel. Fleur de sel. I don't know if you've ever had fleur de sel, friends, but this is amazing salt. It's crunchy. It's amazing. From the Galanga area of France, it's really an amazing salt. So we put the salt in here, you see, on the, on the skin. We're going to use clarified butter, my friends. We use clarified butter to saute the fish, but then we will use regular butter to make the sauce. First, let's check our temperature to make sure we're good. I like it to do, I like to do it uh, uh, skin side down in the oven 95% of the time. That means the first five minutes, we're going to cook it right here on that side. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna put a little more salt in here. Right, we're gonna cook it a little more salt. We're gonna put a little bit of pepper right here, very little pepper, right here on that side. So we're gonna start sauteing it in here, and when this is kinda like golden brown, then we're gonna pop it in the oven. And then what that's gonna do, that's gonna make sure that the skin is beautiful, nice and crispy. And then while it's cooking in the oven, I'm going to make the sauce. And for the sauce, I am going to make a uh, mustard sauce. So I got white wine. You don't want white wine? Chicken stock. I got it ready, just in case you don't want white wine. A little bit of cream, some shallots, some dill, and another onion, the chives. And we are using a demode mustard, demode mustard or, or, or Dijon mustard with seeds on it. So it's mustard uh, with a seed on it. And, uh, and then we're going to add more butter. <laughs> For sure. For sure we're going to have butter. Otherwise, without butter, life is boring without butter, okay? People want to say they don't eat butter. I don't know. Let's make sure I got the right temperature. I want it to be, um, I want it to be uh, uh, 350. Clarified butter you can take. If you do regular butter, it's going to burn at 300 degrees, gonna start turning brown. So we don't want it to do that. That's why I'm doing it. So remember, the beginning of the salmon, we're gonna saute it right here on that side, and we're gonna get a golden brown on that side, just a little bit. While this is done, let me clean up my, uh, my cutting board. You know, I got my uh, sanitized water there. I cannot stand a dirty kitchen, my friends. Sorry, but I gotta clean up. I, you know, whenever I cook, I finish one job, I gotta clean it. And I finish another job, I gotta clean it. I cannot have a dirty stove. It's a thing about this, I gotta have it clean. All right, 
So let's get the fish to do this. While it's doing this, we're going to start a little bit on the sauce. And the sauce, we can go with a regular butter because we're not going to burn it. We're not going to cook it for a while. We're going to be gentle. So we're going to put a little butter. And I like, a, for those of you that are asking, oh, it's hot. What kind of butter do you use? I use a, a sweet butter. Whatever butter you can find, my friend, whatever butter you like. But I use sweet butter. That means non-salted butter. We're going to saute the shallots. And we're going to get them light golden brown. Uh, and then we're going to put some white wine and we're going to do a white wine reduction. Now, let's see how we're doing with the fish, friends. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Another minute or so. M maybe not a minute. Just a couple of seconds. That'll be enough for us to stop the sauce. Butter melted. We're going to put some shallots. If you don't have shallots, put onion. It'll be fine. Just don't tell them. If somebody doesn't like it, just don't invite them again. That's all. Not that big of a deal. They don't like it? Yeah, go eat somewhere else. <laughs> Let's see what we got here, friends. Let's see what we got. Okay, you see, look, we're looking good. Okay, so now what we're going to do, friends, we're going to take that, we're going to pop it in the oven, 375 degrees, and Jack is going to give you the, uh, the Celsius, because I always forget. We're going to put it right in there, and we're going to cook this to a beautiful, I like my salmon, medium rare. You may like it a more cook, then you cook it more. But we're going to go with an internal temperature of 125 degrees. I like it to be pink. That's a matter of opinion. There's no right or wrong. Whatever makes you happy. All right, we're going to saute the shallots. And this is going to take a few minutes. And as soon as the shallots are golden brown, light golden brown, we don't want to burn it, we're going to do a white wine reduction. You don't want to put white wine. A lot of people say, you know, they are religions or whatever it is, or they don't drink. And, uh, and uh, um, I understand you don't drink, you don't drink. You should try it. <laughs> no, I'm only kidding. If you don't drink, don't worry. Uh, you, you put stock. Okay, I got a chicken stock. You, you know, I always cook. I got a chicken stock on my stove. Uh, and, uh, and, and, and so stock will do just as fine. Okay, so don't ever worry about what do I replace it with. You replace it with a broth. You got to replace the liquid. And shallots cooking in butter. Huh. <laughs> Ain't nothing like it. Friends, I am not kidding. Shallots and cooking butter are amazing. So how long do we cook the salmon for? I always ask the question. How long do you cook it for? It all depends how thick it is. It all depends the temperature of your oven. It all depends how you like it. Some people like it rare. They want a rare salmon. Some want it like, oh. Well done. So it takes longer. Remember, friends, I tell you, invest in the thermometer. Invest in the thermometer. Okay, you can't just, you know, you're a professional, you can twist it, you can feel it. Uh, okay, I know it's, it's cooked right. That's if you do this every day, same salmon, same cooking device, you can figure it out if you've been doing this for a long time. Professional chef, of course. I love it when people say to me, oh, you know, you're not a professional chef, you use the thermometer. 54 years, if I'm not a professional chef, then I'm a shoemaker. In the meantime, my friends, use the thermometer, okay? That's the best way to do it. Don't be afraid to, put, to poke the fish. You're not going to do anything bad to it. See, look at the shallots, friends. Golden brown, reduction of white wine. Whenever you cook with wine, you want to let it reduce. You want to let all the alcohol out. Cook with the wine you're willing to drink. I say that every time I use wine. Cook with the wine you're willing to drink. If you're not willing to drink it, don't cook with it. Don't think it's going to get any better after you cook it 15 minutes. Because it doesn't. If you cook with a $3 bottle of wine, you're going to have a $3 sauce. So you want to work all this, you want to do all this, and have a sauce that is not so good. If you cook with a beautiful wine, use the Chardonnay, use the Sauvignon Blanc, use the Chenin Blanc. Use whatever wine you want, as long as it's a wine you're willing to drink. Bring it to boil. Look, see? Bring it to boil. And let it reduce, let it reduce, let it reduce. Okay? While this is happening, I'm going to do some potatoes. I got potatoes in here, and we're going to saute them in butter. But the potatoes and I have friends. <laughs> People don't eat butter already left to tic tac tock. <laughs> uh, I uh, sauteed some potatoes here, friends. Oh, no, no, I poached them. I poached them in water. I just cut them. Little nouvelle potato, we call them. You know, they wax potatoes. You, they, sometimes they're red, sometimes they're white. I peel them, and I cut them. 
you know, so they look decent. And, uh, and, and we're going to saute them in butter. We'll put a little dill because we're going to put some dill in the sauce. So we're going to put a little bit of dill in the potatoes, and we're going to put them next to the fish. Very simple, huh? We could put some asparagus or so. You could put a, a vegetables you want in here, but it's just plain. I love to have a little potatoes with my fish. Put whatever makes you happy with it, okay? So we don't have to worry about the fish that much, but we got to worry about this reducing. So, folks, this has to reduce almost when there is nothing left. So it's going to take about two or three minutes. I'm going to slow down. I'm going to stop the video for a second. And, and then we'll come back about two or three minutes when this is completely reduced, okay? All right, friends. The, the, the butter is hot for the potatoes. We're going to saute them. Just real quick. Remember, they cooked. Did I tell you that? They cooked already. I cooked them in boiling water, okay? All I'm going to do now is just saute them, make them nice and pretty, okay? But they're already cooked. All right, so we're going to put a little salt and pepper on them. That's it. They're cooked. Done. And the white wine, as you notice, it was about three, three minutes, something like that. The white wine, look, is reduced completely. So at this point, you can add a little bit of broth, friends. I got a little bit of chicken broth right here. Let's add a little bit of broth. So we have a little extra sauce, you see? This is a good way to get extra sauce, okay? And now what we're going to do, we're going to put a, 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 since the white wine has been reduced, we're going to bring that up, and we're going to put a touch of heavy whipping cream. And then we're going to flavor it. We're going to flavor it with dill. This is a very simple sauce, friends. You can make that with chicken. You can make it with anything you want, really. We're going to put just a little bit of pepper and a little bit of fleur de sel. Look at the potatoes, friends. Look at the potatoes. They look beautiful. Let me get a tongue. I got them right here. No big deal on the potatoes, eh? Let's saute them nice and pretty. At the last minute, we're going to put some fresh dill on them. All right. We're good. The sauce is reducing. Let's just wait a few more minutes for the fish to be ready. Let me check it out to make sure we're doing good. Maybe another couple of minutes. We'll be back in a couple of minutes to finish the fish. All right, friends. But then the fish is going to be ready. What I like to do with the sauce, folks, is uh, you can reduce it and then and finish it up with butter, but then it'll be too liquid. So I like to thin in just a little bit with the cornstarch. Just a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. See? Put a little cornstarch in there. You don't need a lot. You don't need a lot, friends. Okay, let me tell you. This cornstarch, I had a whisk somewhere. Here you go. This cornstarch is really going to do a job. You see? Look. Okay, that's it. Stop it. Stop it already. You see, look right there, we got a beautiful sauce. And now all we need to do, folks, is put a little butter in there. Yes. Yes, butter. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, yeah, baby. All right, let's take the fish out. Don't that look beautiful? Let's take the fish out. And put my sauce here. Let me turn this off. The potatoes are done. All I'm going to do with the potatoes I'm going to put a little bit of uh, my uh, dill because that's the spice I use. You could use the spice, the herbs I use. Not much of a spice involved in there. Stop it. The sauce is done. Let's get the fish out. You know what, friends? I almost forgot. <laughs> mustard. <laughs> I put it at the end, the mustard. You don't cook the mustard, please. You don't cook the mustard. You put it at the end. Let me just take it out of there. Yeah, mustard sauce without mustard. <laughs> that would have been a good one. Yeah, mm-hmm. Look at this. Oh, yeah. This is beautiful. This is gorgeous, friends. Absolutely beautiful. All right? <laughs> yeah, that me. That's me right there, friends. Um, mustard sauce. Oh, you forgot the mustard. Oh, let me not forget the fish. Hey, hey, hey. There we go, friends. All right, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to get a spoon. I'm going to bathe this guy just a little bit with our clarified butter right there. Look at this. Look at this, friends. We're going to take it. We're going to remove a little bit of the fat right there. Then the fish just releases. See a little bit of the fat right there? It's just not elegant. Nothing wrong with it. It's just the fat. There we go. We're going to. Oh, yeah, baby. Look at this. Let's finish cooking it. Remember, cooking is really your call. 
However, it makes you happy to do it, friends. Let me clean up a little bit because I always have a mess. I don't know about you, but I always have a mess. On my kitchen counter, I hate to have a mess. So, <laughs> so I take the mess from over here and I put it over there. That's okay, though, because you're not looking over there. You're not supposed to look over there. All right, so here we go, Frank. We're going to take a fish. Come to Papa, right there. We're going to take it in a pan. Oh, yeah, baby. We're going to be delicate now. We're going to put the fish, and we're going to put it right here. Very simple. Oh, this hot. <laughs> we're going to change pans right there. We're going to take some of our potatoes. We're going to put them right here. It's very simple. Right? Nothing fancy here, friends. Take a two or three potatoes right there. Let's keep it in odd numbers, eh? How about three potatoes? Very simple. You want to put another one? What do you think? Another one? No. Three is good. I'm going to leave it at three. One more thing that I like to put in the sauce at the last minute, besides mustard, is chives. Never cook chives. Never cook chives. Whenever you see somebody cooking chives, go to Tic Tac Tok. <laughs> look at this, look at this, friends. Look how beautiful that sauce is. You can rub that all over your body. Look how beautiful that sauce is. Oh, yeah. Wait until it's not so hot. <laughs> I can see people for the first time on this channel that say, this guy is a nut. Uh, hold on, don't move. What am I looking for? Uh, oh, I know what I was looking for. A spoon. <laughs> We're going to take a little bit of the sauce right there, friends. Look at this. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm... See how simple that was? A little mustard sauce. If you've never made a mustard sauce right there, friends, on your fish. Oh, one more thing. Hold on. I got it. Right there. This time I was ready. Remember the sauce is made with dill? So find yourself a nice piece of dill and do it delicate, delicate. You don't have to be... You don't have to do so much. What do you think? I think that's enough. One piece is enough. That's it, my friends. Now the best time is to eat this thing. Look at that. Is that gorgeous? I absolutely love it. So let's go in there. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see what we got. It's a little more cook in the in the uh, in the oh in the, uh, the the thin part. But look at this. Look at this, friends. So you see, the skin comes right off. You don't like to eat it. Okay, it's really up to you. Now, I love it right there. This is my favorite right there. Look at look how gorgeous that is, friends. You see how beautiful that is. This is gonna melt. Oh, mmm, oh, friends, you gotta make this. Okay, let I me mean, you not know, eat it anymore. I can't speak with my mouth, my, my mouth full. I love it. This is amazing. I hope you like it. Remember, if you don't want the skin on it, don't even keep it. Ask the fishmonger to remove it. Next time I do a video, I'll show you how to remove it. It's very simple. Don't forget, subscribe to the channel, give us a thumbs up, and don't forget to ring the bell. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time we put on another fantastic video. See you next week.